Campus chaos, a Valley student shot at school. Tonight, Phoenix police still searching for the gunman. Now, seven hours later, all of this unfolding at Cesar Chavez High School near 43rd Avenue in Baseline. ABC 15's Venton Blandin joining us live from there. And Venton classes resume tomorrow, but the Phoenix Union High School District just announcing some new security measures moving forward. Yeah, Katie and Steve, the school district announced late this evening several changes that will be in effect for further notice. Now, all of this happening late this evening as the gunman remains on the run tonight. Phoenix police working late into the evening Monday, combing through evidence, trying to figure out who shot a Cesar Chavez high school student and why. There was a lot of people around. That's the hard part of this investigation, getting people to talk to us and tell us what they saw. That's always the hard part of any investigation. Police were sent to the school on Baseline Road near 43rd Avenue around three in the afternoon. I can tell you it's chaotic. When our officers get there, there's people, you know, in every direction, it's mass chaos. Officers finding a 16 year old boy shot, but the shooter or a gun nowhere to be found. The school district confirms the person shot is a junior and was injured during an argument inside a bathroom after school let out. A police spokesperson said the school doesn't have school resource officers, but do use what they call school safety officers. They are housed off site and they are basically just dedicated to the school to come take a report after the fact if something occurs. Official SROs were recently phased out by the Phoenix Union High School District. As for those new security changes, Going forward, the district is banning all backpacks in the school, limiting the number of school entry and exit points, adding more safety and law enforcement personnel, and turning away all food delivery drivers. Now, police say the young man who was shot inside the school is expected to survive his injuries. Now, the school district isn't telling us if the shooter is a fellow student, and tonight, we are waiting to learn more information and we will ask those questions tomorrow. Reporting live, Vincent Bland at ABC 15 Arizona.